Hello everyone, welcome to the first series of this tutorial where I will be teaching you how to create an augmented reality application for Android and iOS using Unity's AR Foundation. You will also learn how to implement functionalities to animate and control a 3D drone using the keyboard and touch screen. In this part of the tutorial, we will start by setting up the project and implement necessary functions to control the movement of the drone. Create a new Unity project. Download the package from the link in the description. The package has files for drone mesh, textures, materials and animations. Clear the console. Let's start by adding the drone to the scene. Go to Meshes, then drag the Drone Prefab into the scene. Rename it to Drone. Assign the correct materials to the drone. Assign Drone Badge to Professional Assets Badge and Drone Body to the remaining game objects. Assign animation controller to the drone. This controller will allow us to change the animations of the drone. Let's now add the code to trigger a takeoff animation. Go to scripts, then create a new script called drone controller. This script will be responsible of controlling the drone's movements and triggering the corresponding animations. Create a variable to hold the animator controller. Set the value of takeoff to true. Let's now understand why I set this value to true. Open animation controller. The controller has many states. Each state will trigger a new animation. The default state of the animator is idle. In this state, the drone will not play any animation. The next state that the drone can move to is the taken off state. When in this state, the propellers will start to accelerate. In order to tell the animator that we want to transition to this state, we have to set the value of takeoff to true. This is what we just did in the code. When the propellers reach their maximum speed, the drone will automatically transition to the flying and moving state. This state will move the drone upward. When the drone reaches its maximum height, the animation will transit to the flying state and will stay there till we tell it to transition to the next state. Assign drone controller to the drone. Hit run to test if the takeoff animation is correctly triggered. If you go to animator view, you can see that the states are being executed as expected. We do have one problem though. We want the drone to move up then keep its position. Fortunately, this is an easy problem to fix. All what you have to do is to choose drone game object, then enable apply root motion. Run the game again. You can see that the animation will also change the position of the game object. Let's see now how to control the drone using the arrow keys of the keyboard. Create a new function called move. 
This function will accept two parameters, speed x and speed z. Speed x will control the movement of the drone along the x axis. Speed z will control the movement along the z axis. The values are expected to be between minus 1 and 1. Create a new variable called speed, then assign the values of speed x and speed z to it. Create a new function called update drone. In this function, we will update the position of the drone. We multiply by delta time to take into account a variable FPS. Go back to Unity. Create a new game object called game manager. Create a new script called Game Manager. Attach the script to the game object. Open the script, then go to Update. Get the value of the horizontal axis. This will tell us if the left or the right arrow of the keyboard has been pressed. Get the value of the vertical axis. This will tell us if the bottom or the top arrow of the keyboard has been pressed. Pass these values as inputs to the move function. Go back to Unity and assign Drone Controller. You can now move the drone using the arrow keys of the keyboard. As you see, the movement is very slow. I will add now a speed multiplier to control the movement speed. I will leave the value set to 4 for now. You can use different value if you want. This is the end of this part. Thanks for watching and see you on the next part.